waking up today? Amy! <laughs> <laughs> I'm Hop jumping in. in, I'm jumping in. <laughs> Got my coffee. Right. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. good? Yeah, I'm good. Right, we're going to have a little chit chat today. Yeah. Get to know you a bit better. Okay, cool. And um, we have spent the last few weeks together, haven't <laughs> oh, we? Yeah, so... you now know everything about me. <laughs> I do. You're sick of me. Whole life story. Um, okay, so let's start from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Like, when did you start your golf? Why did you start it? Um, it. So I started, I was probably about six years old. Like, I feel like everyone has the same story. Like, yeah, I know. I played golf. Yeah. Um, my dad was a golf pro. My, like, club pro at my golf Which club. I didn't know about. Yeah, you said you yeah, did. Yeah, that was amazing. Um, cool. Yeah, he was like the head pro for like 25 years or something. Yeah. Um, my mum played. I've got two older sisters. Yeah. Um, my older sister, she actually turned pro, like was a really good player, like played in the Welsh team and things like that. Mm. Um, so did my other sister. Both sisters were really good. Right. Um, but Kim, the oldest one, she then went down like the teacher route, moved right. out to the Middle East, teached out here. Um, Amazing. Yeah. And then I was kind of like the young sister that just wanted to copy what they were doing yeah so i got into it probably a bit younger than they did um ended up being pretty all right pretty all right <laughs> um and i was really good like quite young as well though like i think i probably for my age at that time yeah. like was quite advanced quite early on mm. um, and i think that just helped being on the golf course following my sisters and my dad around to be honest nice mm. and how long have you been on tour now 10 years Okay, long yeah. time. I said, I was like, I just don't look that old, do I? You actually don't. You're doing well. You're doing well. <laughs> you're doing um, well. Yeah, I've been on tour 10 years. And do you know what? Like, it's, I've loved it. Like, everyone always asks, oh, what do you think of tour life? And I absolutely love it, honestly. Yeah. I love the traveling. I mean, it's hard. Like, you're away from home a lot, but yeah. we're so lucky. We get to go mm. to some unbelievable places. I've met all of my closest friends through golf yeah. or, like, on tour. So. You've got a good little group, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. Um, so you've won two tournaments. Yeah. So you've won on tour, you've won on the access. How was that? Yeah, it's funny, they were both won in Switzerland. Really? Yeah, so oh I don't God. know what it is about that country. It's just yeah. like, yeah, one of my favourite places to go to now. But um, yeah, like I think getting my first win in 2020, like it was just after lockdown and everything. Mm. Um, and like I'd done a lot of work during lockdown, like as much as you could inside. Yeah. Um, done a lot of like changes on my swing. And I think I just went out with no expectations because I hadn't really been on a golf course. Yeah. And. I think that's what I need to keep doing. How hard is it from being on tour for 10 years, winning one in 2020, mm -hmm. and like from that point of starting to then, like that's a long time. Yeah, I mean. So like, did you want to quit? I think it's just, it's so hard to win on tour, especially yeah. like now, like the girls are so good, especially yeah, ones that are coming up good, like yeah. out of, you know, the US and college and things. Um, it's hard to win on tour and like even just to finish like, Getting top tens and things is really yeah. difficult. It's just the difference from finishing like 60th, like on the borderline of the cut, mm. to actually finishing in the top ten isn't that much difference to be yeah. honest. Like it's just like a few putts dropping or whatever. It's just difficult on tour to win. So yeah. I think you've just got to keep at it. Like you can't let the big game beat you up too much. No. Okay, so last win was 2020. Last win was 2020. Um, what's, what's happening next? And I've, just, I've had a bit of a rough time, I'm not going to lie. I think <laughs> if anyone looks at the scores, um, or even yeah. just like, I'm quite honest on social media and stuff about how like I'm getting on with my golf. And, mm. um, and like people on social media can be mean. Like oh, I have don't. people commenting on pictures being like, oh, just, yeah, you can't break 77. And I'm like, thanks, I know. Listen, I, I don't obviously play on tour. I wanted to try. Yeah. But even, like, the idiots on social media that, that, that look at me going, known full well I'm a coach, and then they want to slag you off because, mm. okay, I did a few Rose Series events. They were shocking. Don't know why I tried, to be honest. <laughs> um, but I'm trying to explain to them that I'm, I'm a coach. I don't yeah. play. I'm never giving it a go. Yeah. And they just want to slag you off. I so know. I don't really it is brutal, and I think, like... I let it really get to me like after you know after I won the 2021 I had a tough season mm. and like I was struggling like even just going to my golf club I've grown up there for however long like yeah. they've known me since I was really young and I think people just think they're comfortable enough around you to say things but yeah. they would be like oh you've not I'm in digging. any you're not in any money like yeah and I'm thinking well I would never say that in your but job that's got nothing to do with it no <laughs> do you know no. what I mean um, and we're all yeah, trying how are you doing this month yeah. like <laughs> So I think that I did let that kind of side get to me a little bit, but yeah. um, you know, all you can do is work on your game, yeah. try and see what it takes okay. you. Um, best experience so far in 10 years of you being Ooh, on top? Do you know what? The British Open, um, I finished ninth did in the you? British Open when That's it was at Turnbury. Right. And I think it must have been around 2014, no, 
15. I can't remember the year, actually. Yeah. Forget that. Um, <laughs> it fell a long time ago. But it was awesome, like, just being in contention, at, like, in a major championship, which yeah. I'd never done before. Oh, my God. It was just so fun. Like, I had my whole family up there yeah. watching. Um, I played the weekend with, like, Lexi Thompson and yeah. So Yun Ryu. So I had, like, two amazing oh, golfers that I'd looked up amazing. to. amazing, yeah. And, yeah, I played well in the event, so it was always nice to, like, compare my game as well and be like, do you know what? I can compete them when yeah. I'm on my game and I'm at my best. Mm. I know I can compete. It's just yeah. trying to, you know, get your game to that level consistently. What's your nerves like? Oh, I could you bottle it? Uh, no. Do you think you could have done a lot better? Like, you finished ninth, that's amazing. Yeah. Could you have done no. better? No, honestly, like, my weekend was where I made, like, my score. Like, I shot, oh the, my God. I shot the, score <laughs> of the score of the day on the Saturday, 69. Wow. And I played, like, steady on the Sunday, but... On the Saturday morning, I was playing with Lexi Thompson, and I had the shakes. I was so nervous. Just because of her? Or just... Yeah, like, she's obviously a big character in golf yeah. anyway. I'd always, like, looked up to her, even though she's probably, like, my age or maybe a little bit younger yeah. than me. She was just, like, she's obviously a, was a star. Everyone knows um, her, yeah. And I was just so nervous. There's so many people watching, because obviously everyone comes to watch, yeah. like, them kind of players. And the first tee... I had to hit four round because I didn't like the tee shot anyway. There was loads of bunkers, and I thought, I'm going to play this, like, yeah. you know... Find the fairway with the four iron, then like wedge onto the green. Yeah. And I like fat hooked it. Oh my god. It went god, no, no, I had to hit three wood into the green. And she hit driver and her caddy went up to my caddy after the first hole and was like, We're just gonna let you know we're like we're aggressive all day, we're hitting driver. If we're gonna hit it in the shit, we're hitting it a long way in the shit. They said that to you? They said it to my caddy. Oh. Like he was just like having a bit of a joke. Right, with him yeah, yeah, yeah. And just going like, obviously I'm hitting four iron off the first Lexi's there with driver. Oh my god. Um, but carnage. it was like it was just I was nervous. I'm not mm. gonna lie, but I think it's good if you're nervous. It means you care. Mm. It means you've got the adrenaline pumping. Do you know what I mean? Worst experience? Um, oh, I've had plenty of them. <laughs> I don't know. I think, I think just a build up of probably like waiting for your time. Yeah. Okay. Um, I remember the Desert Classic. Oh, not the Desert Classic. Sorry. Um, the Dubai Ladies Masters. Um, I really struggled because that was the last event of the year needed to keep my card and I had to finish in a certain place and I I didn't and mm. I had to go back to Q school. Right, okay. So that was difficult. Um but you go back to Q school and you think it's just another event and try and get through it. What do you think the women's game is missing right now? Um do you know what I think like we're obviously getting televised more and more which I think mm. is amazing. We've got getting some bigger and bigger events um, which is awesome to see. I think we need to show like people's personalities a little bit more. Like that's just why, like yeah. you know, people like you doing YouTube channels, yeah. you're getting to know the the person a little bit better. Yeah. Um, I just find like interviews on course sometimes can be very generic. You don't really get to know. Yeah. Like they're obviously doing a lot of on course interviews recently in the men's game and the women's game. Um, and I think you just need to for younger girls watching on boys. They want to have like an idol. They want to get to know the person. Yeah. Like I remember, I was always a fan of you know Ricky Fowler when yeah. I was a kid because he wore orange and yeah. like that was his thing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and I think people just Something need to quirky. get yeah, just get to know the person. If you're just asking them, how do you feel about the golf course or yeah, it's just it's do you know dead, I mean? dead chat. This it's is why dead. I'm doing this. Yeah, like, I, just I like I want to put like a little bit of spin on it. Yeah, I think it can be just a bit of dead chat and like. Is anyone really caring about what they think about no, certain guess. holes or what no. they're hitting into the next? Do you know what I mean? So I think yeah. you want to get to know the, their personality. But I like how you know the men's like they put all the like the what is it the AirPods in and they're talking through. Yeah, I mean their social like, media. It's all mic'd up. I'd say like unreal. DP World like do a great job with their social so media good. as well. Like, yeah. They, they've got some really good people that you know think of some really creative ideas. Mm. And I think that's what the women's game needs to like yeah. take on board. Okay, what would you change about the game if you could? <sighs> anything come on <laughs> I this, have is so, this is so ridiculous i have loads too i just have to, i'd have like a 12 hole golf course <laughs> so would I. 18 holes are so I, long. I hate it um but obviously that's never gonna happen so it's gonna be an 18 hole maybe we 72 should hole tournament. something and just do it ourselves i also think like oh this is probably everyone says this but slow play like for me the game needs to speed up oh, and fine. i just hate being on the golf course for i mean well, we were in Turkey last week, and that was six hour rounds. It's six it? hour rounds sometimes. It's like, and it's just like your game how, goes. Yeah, how do you keep your concentration? And I wouldn't mind if it was like you keep walking and you like can yeah. play your shot, and if it's like at that pace. Yeah. But it's because you're waiting for the people in front yeah, of you no. all the time. Stop, start. <clears throat> I think everyone just needs to quicken up a little bit. Mm. Like I'm a fast golfer, so it's probably not. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in the wrong sport. <laughs> um, where do you see yourself in five years' time? Wow. Do you want to continue question. playing? 
I do. I honestly do. Like deep down, like I've always I'm saying to people at the moment, like, oh, I don't know if I want to carry on yeah. playing golf, and that's just because I'm going through a struggle. Yeah. Um, but I know like the love for the game and everything's still there. Obviously, we all want to make a living. That's like mm. you know, at the moment, I'm not making much of a living when I'm not. Yeah. You know, winning golf tournaments or it's even tough. making a cut. So. Yeah. Um, ideally, I would like to still be playing on tour and competing and winning and being mm. in contention. Um, but I'm going through a phase of like at the moment having a bit of time out, trying to, you know get my game into a place where I think that person can win like that she's a golfer she can win yeah. whereas at the moment I'm not quite up to that level so mm. I've got some work to do mentally physically um, but yeah I'm not quite done yet okay good. <laughs> if you could do any part of your career differently oh, good what question. would you do or do you think it's been pretty decent you wouldn't change a thing um, I'd, pro <laughs> I'd probably work a lot more on my short game. Really? Yeah. From the get-go? From the get-go. And I just think, like, I've always worked on my short game. Yeah. But I'm such a perfectionist with the golf swing, wanting to, like, swing it a certain way. Yeah. If I'm not hitting it well at a tournament, I panic, phone my coach, have video calls on the range. And I'm thinking, Do you know what? <laughs> you said this to me the other day. So when we were in Turkey, <laughs> she's on the driving range at whatever time it was. And she's gone, yeah, I've just had, like, a 20-minute... Call with my coach. Oh, that, like, was what? The, that was in the warm up before we went Tripod out to the tournament. Tripod was up, everything. Yeah, and, and uh, do you know I still have to get out of them habits. Um, Desperate. I, <laughs> I just think I get like I get a bit anxious of thinking if I can't hit the ball on the golf course, I can't score, and that's yeah. a ridiculous way of thinking no, because no. if you've got an amazing short game, you should be able to get up and down from anywhere. And when mm. you watch like the guys, like Tiger back in the day or Seve, like yeah. they hit it all over the shop off the tee, and they were you know they were breaking past. So. They're doing it. I definitely think that really get build the confidence with the short game and get sharp. Okay. What would you do if you weren't doing golf? Um, <laughs> do Go I on. have to be good at it? No. Okay, because if I could pick a talent, yeah. I'd love to be a singer. Really? <laughs> Honestly, I just oh think, God. imagine being on stage like millions, thousands of people and being really good at singing. And everyone's okay. singing your songs back. But that is never <laughs> okay, something that you are good at. Okay. Then. What would you do? Would you no, I did used to play the harp better. I was a bit of a musician. The harp. Back. Yeah, you know the big, the big thing. That yeah, you I used to play that. Oh Just my god. When people do interviews with me, and they say, "What's one thing no one knows about you?" I That's always say insane. that. That's insane. But why have that? Why the harp? I think when That's I was such a random I one. I know. I think when I was in school, they were offering out harp lessons. Right. Um, like after school, and my mum and dad were like, "Oh, that'd be good for you to do something other than golf." So I started doing it. Like, <laughs> honestly, it's such like a. Do you know, like a beautiful instrument? It is. But I never carried it on. It matches you, doesn't it? Yes, <laughs> um, right, quick fire. Uh, right, fave tournament you've played in? Um, Australian Open, hands down. Favourite golf course? Oh, uh, Turnbury. Fave, oh, golfing crush. Oh. Uh, has to be a golfer, obviously. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gone. I don't know. Oh, Sergio, it was always Sergio Garcia. Everyone knows this about me. Sergio Garcia. Oh, I was obsessed with him. I was obsessed with him. Sorry? Yeah, he knows as well. Like, oh, God. <laughs> okay. Like, um... Stalker alert is what he thinks. <laughs> Tea or coffee? Oh, both, but probably more coffee. Favourite movie? Mm, Love the Blind Side. Never seen it. What? Never Such seen it. Such a good film. Man on Fire. No. What? You've not seen either of them? No. Every time I ask this question, someone says that, and I'm like, I haven't got a clue, never watched it. That's like two of my all time favourites. I love, oh, so many films I love. Anyway, like, okay, sorry. <laughs> um, biggest ick. Come on, this is a good one. Think about it. It's oh, a lot. There's, what, with a guy? Any, yeah, anything, oh. or in general, like what people do. Oh, right, do. with a guy, like anyone that like chews loudly. Oh, mm, yeah. Like eats with their mouth open, like, I just think it's rude. Like when you go to. Places of, I don't know if I say, like you know when you go to like China and stuff, like they eat and, really loud. But that's meant to be like yeah, they're tasting their, Yeah, no, they're tasting their food. I've found this out. They're like oh. that's how they like are tasting the food. But I just can't yeah, deal yeah, with push it. Off. Yeah. So mine, I've said this before, is a man getting in a bathtub. <laughs> Why, have you watched that? Just, quite a few times? Just, I don't want to. Just envision it. <laughs> just envision it. That's so. Funny. Are you getting it? My sister actually gave me this one. Yeah, I mean, I and I keep I saying it to people because yeah, people like, are like, "What the hell?" But just imagine it. It's just like it doesn't. Yeah, it's not a good look. Okay, so I'm never gonna get a bathtub when I meet someone. <laughs> Moving on. Our worst fear. 
Always snakes. Asks one. Snakes. Spiders, snakes, anything that crawls. Okay. <laughs> Mine is knocking my front teeth out, falling over. Oh my god, I had a dream that my teeth fell out the other day. Oh, it's the worst, isn't it? That, do we? No, we don't want that. <laughs> we got good gnashes. <laughs> um, match play or stroke play? Match play. Don't, we know don't play enough of it either. No. And uh, favourite brand of all time? In golf. Golfing brand. Well, it doesn't have to be. Galvin Green, repping. <laughs> okay. Spill the tea. Okay. This little section is like the goss. Okay. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> Just seen that you've been announced as part of OnlyFans. Yes. Talk me through it, because obviously there's a big stigma yeah. around OnlyFans and like sports women or whatever going on it and yeah why yeah i mean i knew doing? like obviously it's been recently announced that i've signed with only fans mm -hmm. and i was a bit nervous about the announcement not gonna lie because obviously everyone has this perception of you know what people post on there yeah. and what it's about which i completely understand yeah. but originally only fans was created for what it says like it's for it's a, it's a paid instagram isn't yeah it? and it's for like fans of like your profession yeah. so like you know there's people on there doing like cooking things like recipes and fitness videos yeah. and you know they're wanting to get a load of like athletes on board so they've mm. signed load like they've signed tennis players yeah i've seen like racing car drivers yeah. um golfers yeah <laughs> so i am the first female golfer there isn't a, a male golfer that signed with them um for a while now but mm. yeah i do you know i think it's a it's a pretty cool platform like i think it's nice that i get to share a bit more of an insight into what i get up to in golf in my fitness related stuff because yeah. I don't like I post on Instagram but it, for me to be honest like it's more of a personal use like I use yeah. it I post my friends I post my family yeah. on there like it's not I'm not going to be on Instagram I don't use it to be like this is how to play a bunker shot yeah. or this is how to like specifically hit certain shots which is what I want to do on my only fans and yeah. it's a page where people that are actually interested in me as a person and also that's really interested in golf that they can find out a little bit more yeah. on anything like they can message me to get some tips or yeah. whatever they want like I'm open the thing to is you're monetizing yourself as well which yeah. is pretty decent which you can't do on Instagram so I may I may jump on it <laughs> get on it come on, let's collab together <laughs> God, <laughs> but honestly, everyone like, love that the amount of people that are like yeah are you getting your kit off basically she's not getting her kit and off I'm guys like, come on no like, I've just I like you can see what I'm doing yeah. like, and I'm telling you this now my page is free so yeah. it's yeah. not like you can subscribe to my page for free so like, if you want more in-depth like information then that's when they start yeah so if like if someone wanted you for it. um you know a specific lesson on their yeah. game or they wanted to interact with me personally like they can message me and that's basically it's just like a coaching platform really exactly but you know like only fans was never meant to be for it wasn't pornography no. but i and mean it, like they, it's people obviously people know it as adult, it up. <laughs> adult content but yeah that's not what my page is. Oh, that's amazing. So when it's all started, it's all started. It's, live. Um, it's obviously still very new. Like I've posted a recent, you know, what I'm working on in my swing and yeah. things like that. I'm going to do some in depth of um, like fitness related content. Like okay. I love high rocks at the moment, so yeah. I'm not I many people one of them. would know that yeah. I'm into that. So kind of what a training session would look like for me. Mm. My sister's competing on soon, so Wicked. I'd love to get like me and my sister on there doing a workout together. Yeah, and, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Just things that you wouldn't post on Instagram. No. Okay, cool. Um, right, Liv's fault is something that you would like banish from the world and something you'd banish from golf. Okay. So what would you choose out of everything? Um, in golf? It can be anything. Oh, there's a couple I would like to ban. Well, slow play, Go like I said. Slow, yeah. And also like when you hit a perfect drive down the middle of the fairway, you're a divot. That's what I said. Yeah, yeah I hate um, that. I'm like that. There should be a rule in where you can just take like, it out. Just like, Yeah. But then I suppose people would be like, well, that's not how golf is played but yeah but i disagree there's people that don't <laughs> i've hit a perfect drive i should be rewarded not yeah punished. true um and then in the whole world what would you banish now um, peter the other day peter finch went deep with this and what like, did he say? like world hunger and war and oh, whatever but, but, but give me something me. <laughs> specific yeah okay I, that's what you should be saying amy <laughs> yeah but what would i banish um You have to start cutting this because I'm going to take. Yeah, no, I definitely wouldn't banish no. men because that'd be a lonely world. Um, I would banish skinny jeans on men. Oh my god, yes. White skinny jeans as well, I've seen that. White skinny jeans and uh, brogues, loafers <laughs> with no socks. 
Oh, don't. <laughs> yeah, I don't like a guy in them tight pants, I've got to be honest. No, I like that one. That's um, good. Yeah. Cool. It's always going to be about men, that, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Thanks, girl. <laughs> enjoyed that. No, thanks for having me. It's all right. There we go. Oh, hark you here. End of the day. Right. I can go sleep now. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Let's get our stuff. <laughs>